Hello, Sharon here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll just sit down. I'm going to do a little bit more work on this um, Shabby Chic journal that I'm currently making at the moment. My pink journal. It's coming along really nicely. I'm really happy with it. Um, I did a video at the weekend making these beautiful um, flower dangles out of vintage flowers mainly vintage flowers and i've used vintage beads as well um so i'm thinking i know it's quite a it's quite a lot on the front of this i'm busy on the back as well but i'm thinking of maybe just hanging one of these from the spine as well so i made a number of those they're all so pretty it's just like oh which do i choose which do i choose so I've made those and I've put some of those uh, in my Etsy shop as well. I've put them in. They're already starting to go into people's baskets. So I'll put a link below for those beautiful flower angles. The pictures on Etsy, I just couldn't get them to do uh, justice. This this um, flower is from a um, 1950s wedding. I think it was like part of... I don't know, it was part of some wedding ephemera anyway, but it's beautiful. Really lovely. Anyway, so in this journal, um, I haven't stitched anything in yet, but this is the order of my papers. So I had some coffee stained paper, which I'd printed some images on, and I really like this image. So I painted it, and I'm going to put these little fairy flowers on and I thought she'd look really nice I'm gonna put that in there I thought she would look really nice on there but then I didn't want to fasten her down flat I want to give her a little bit of I don't know a little bit of uh I don't know a bit of movement so I got one of these in a rack but I'm not quite sure where from I'm really sorry um, I don't know what writing it is. It's really uh, lovely though, the um, foreign, foreign to me writing. So I thought something like that, she would look nice on the front of one of those. Anyway, when I went to put that on the front, so I'd have a pocket like this, she was, um, this folder is about um two centimeters too big so i thought right let's have a go at making one of these i've never never made one before so what i've done is i thought um i would this diamond dust i've been using is getting absolutely everywhere when i finish this recording i'm gonna clear everything away and get a damp cloth and wipe it up because um, I've got this massive fear of, of a bit of it going in my eye. Well, it won't be very good. So um, I'm going to wipe it up. So anyway, so I'm going to make my folder out of the one of these beautiful, beautiful pages from this book, which is called The Concise British Flora in Colour. Oh, the sun's just coming right out. And every every page is a plate of British flora and the back is the back of the plate is information about what's on on the pages so I picked this one because it's mainly green but it's got some pinks on as well and what I've done I've folded it so it's already torn the edge where I tore it out of the book I folded it so I've got the first page out and I've sort of folded it so it's just a bit smaller than the height of the page. And then I'm going to get my ruler, which I have just brought in here. And here it is. I have one of these foam back rulers because they're good for uh, keeping in place. So I'm just going to tear that off. Keep that strip we'll be using that 
So then if I fold this in half, get my bone folder. Ooh, let me check, is the bottom? Yeah, the bottom's just folded in half. And I, let's have a look what that's going to be like on there. That is going to be pretty. And I just check then the width of my page. Let's just take my page. This is made out of the Angelina fibres. There's, I have done a video on Angelina fibres. I'll put a link below. I should keep saying that, shouldn't I? I'll put a link before, below. Right, so if that goes there, I'm just sort of eyeballing where I would want it to go. That goes there. <clears throat> Still got my cough, just a little bit and just a little bit of a cold. Not as bad as I have been. It's been nearly three weeks of illness managed to get some antibiotics on Monday from the GP because the virus that I had has obviously uh, had obviously settled like settled itself in my ears I was getting terrible uh, earache anyway I started the antibiotics Monday very reluctant to give out antibiotics our doctors because of the resistance to antibiotics that's occurring um, at the moment right which is a worry isn't it for future so many resistant um bugs that are resistant to antibiotics and that worries wouldn't me when i'm an old lady i don't want to be ill and there's i'm resistant to everything so that is going to go on there that will be the folder so let's uh, Get some glue. I think we just need a print stick here. Now, if you want to do, you could stitch this down on this one. Um, I know that the pages have been. Uh, oh no, they've just been glued down on this set, this one, and then the lace stitched across. So they've just been glued down. So I'm just going to use my. Oh, I'm looking here, little bog orchid. Oh, I love orchids, me. Love them. Just using my print stick, just a dry glue there. I've got an orchid there. Uh, it's been flowering for 18 months now, it just won't stop flowering. So I've not moved it from its position because it obviously loves that position. My other orchids flower for a couple of months and they die off and then they, they come again. <clears throat> but this one just, it's the orchid that keeps on giving. There we go. Just wipe that. I've got some glue on there. So that's the basis of the folder. So what we need now is back to, you can either use the bit that you tore off. It is very pretty for a tag that though, but it's a good strong paper. So I think that will be beneficial in these sides. So these have been folded. Uh, let's get the right height. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I've just I think I've done something wrong as well, but we can rectify it. Let's do one. And two. I'm a great tear of me. I rather tear me than um, cut straight. So what we're going to do here is we are going to fold this in half. I'm going to fold this one in half. And then from what I can see, we've folded each of those halves back on themselves. I'm sort of setting my own shadow here. Right, 
tell you all I've been uh, ill. I've been watching so many videos on YouTube. Subscribe to so many crafting channels. I've got so much now on my list of things that I want to do. Right, so there we go. So we've got like a little concertina. And then, they, from what I can see, they go in like this. So what I need to do is put, put it the right way up, put some glue on that side. Hang on, hang on. Oh, that's in. So it doesn't matter which way up, really. This, let me see if I can just peel this back, because really, oh yeah, that was just about, I should have put that under there. Can you see? So that just gives a neater edge at the top. That's better. So then, that's the fold. Well, then this one there. Again, I should have folded this down after. So I've managed to salvage that. And then this goes onto the edge of here. This is, that goes onto the edge of there. No, that's not in the right place. That is a little bit too long. It's just cut a little bit off the bottom. Right, and then that falls up there. That's better. And this is a tricky, tricky manoeuvre with me having done it the wrong way around. That goes in there. Let's re stick that back down. That goes under there. Yay! Done it. So that is like that on that side. Yay! So let's just, before these stick down too well, just lift those corners up again. This one up again. I am going to just cut a little bit off that because I'd misjudged it. So I'm going to put my glue stick on. I'm in frame yet. Yeah. I've learned something new today. So then I'm going to put this so the that bit points inwards. So that piece goes there and on, on to, along the edge there. And just stick that back down again. That bit goes on that edge. Let's straighten it up. And then this piece goes on this edge. Yay! And straighten that put that one back down so ideally now this is when we would have folded those flaps and glued them down if I'd have done it correctly but I am learning as I go along so this is the little folder I love it it's going to go like that <coughs> And now I've just realised that I haven't got out my distress ink, but it is just to hand here. So I'm going to use the Victorian Velvet Distress Oxide. Normally I'd do it like, do it like this, but I'm not. I'm just going to do it around because I don't want to get the Distress Oxide on my glass just at the minute. You'll see why in a moment. So that goes around there, there, and across the top. 
fabulous. So now I want to put this on here. So I am actually just going to tear it a little bit narrower. What I did here is I painted it with my, it's my posh watercolours, my Jane Devonport. Uh, these are the natural tones. So I did it with the Jane Devonport natural tones. And then I just spritzed it with some water just to make it sort of run around. I do want to keep the name on there. I'm going to try to take some of this top off without taking off the top of her head. I want to keep the artist's name on the bottom. Let's see if I can do this. Yep. Sometimes these are... Oh, I don't want to go across a foot. Oh, no. Oh, I have. I've gone across the foot, never mind. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this in tea dye. I've not changed my sponge. And I'm going I am gonna do this on here. So that gives a nice edge defect. But then, to make it look even older, I'm going to just spritz around the edges with water. I'm going to get my Distress Oxide again. I'm going to just come in. Actually, I'm going to need a darker one. Let's get a darker one. Here we go. Uh, gosh, vintage, good old vintage photo. So I'm going to get a darker one and I'm going to come in again. Now, this will cause some of those corners, because it's wet, they will curl up, as you can see. Can you see they're just starting to curl up which is what we want them to do we want them to look like this watercolour has been around since Victorian times a good 150 years Always help it a bit as well with your fingers. Just to roll it up. I'm just concentrating. That's why I'm not talking at the moment. Right, so I'm just going to uh, blast it with the dryer, she says, not knowing where the dryer is. My husband um, very kindly swept up the thing here and it's tidied up. So my organised chaos is slightly more organised now. Just drying it. edges I'm 
Then I've got some charcoal. I'm going to just go around those edges again. And I'll have a bottle of hairspray in here to seal my charcoal. Oop, to seal my charcoal with, but it's disappeared. So that probably means my daughter's run out of her spray and thought, hmm, I'll use this. So I'm now going to stick that onto there. <laughs> glue, glue stick. Now you may be wondering why I have done um, a nice folder. And then going to stick it down. Well, I'm, I'm not going to stick it down. This is part two of the video. Um, so making this has been part one. Part two is what I'm going to show you now. So that's there. So that's on there. And this will go here. However, I'm going to hinge it on so that it will lift. So this is my next challenge for myself because I know in my head what I want to do. So I've got my vellum sheet. I've got myself two sheets out in case I do it wrong. I know what I want to do, but I just need to work it out. So I want this to come over there the thing is once you start to fold the vellum I don't want to crease it yet because once you start to fold it I'm going to let you see that'll still be okay to use once you start to fold it you're snookered then aren't you so let's just have a measure this little this this measures um 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters so really i want it to be about 10.5 centimeters let's just do it that way instead of just eyeballing it i want it just to come over there's 10.5 so make a little tiny mark on there and then I'm going to just fold that so once you fold it you do get the white mark so that is going to go on there cut my finger again I was packaging some parcels and uh, managed to cut my finger so now I want this one, I'm going to fold this just slightly above there. However, I need to cut this at the back. So I'm going to cut this in uh, three centimetres. Right, so let's just fold that and I'm just using that as my, the edge of here as my guide, pencil marks. 
So I'm going to now tear that off. That is that. So that will sit in there. I don't know if I should have made that a bit bigger. No, we'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Then I'm going to fold this here. I'm going to fold. Line it up. Fold it. And I'm going to take that off, tear that off there. So this will sit in there. So now I need a little sort of hinge for this to go in. So is that the right height? No. So that is, <coughs> this is just crafting off the cuff again, three centimetres. So I need to come in three centimetres, put a mark. Now I'm going to come in, sorry, six centimetres because I'm going to fall this six centimeters i'm doing twice twice because i'm going to fold this to hinge this in let's just tear and then we get the height up here If you don't like the torn method by all means use your cutter because this is a shabby chic little book i'm trying to keep to that shabby chic theme right so that should be double that's three centimeters this is six centimeters it's the same height so now i'm going to fold that in half like that I'm going to do that. Then this is going to sit in here. Let me rub that little mark off there. It's a little bit of summit, summit on there. This is going to sit in here. The way I'm going to do that is, in fact, no. Just had a rethink. Do we want that to be like that? I do want, no, do it so that that can lift up. Yes, so we want this, the back side of this, to be glued to the back of the little vellum page. So let's just run the glue stick down. I really should do this on top of a messy mass or something, then I'm not getting it on my glass. Let's fold that up. Right, so now we've got it, we've got a double, double layer of vellum, the large vellum, and then this small piece. So now I'm going to put that into there, exactly where I want it to be, and I actually want it, let's get on the page. 
I want it to come out a little bit. So if that goes onto there, this can come out to about there. Yep. So let's keep that there. So I'm going to put some glue down this edge of the little uh, folder that we've made. That can go straighten it up, Sharon. There. Then we flip it and we put a little bit of glue. Oh, we'll put more glue down the back. Fabulous. So that now should open that will flip like that. So I'm going to now, now stitch down there. I'm going to round these corners. I'm not going to stitch now because I've got blue thread in my machine and so I want to change it to pink. So that will be there. That will be there. So my old watercolour painting is protected with the vellum. There it is. But it's also a little file folder too, which will, because I'm going to stitch it there, and stitch it there will flip up too. So we've got the space behind. Fabulous. I like it very, very much. So I'm going to go and finish that off. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching what I've done this morning. And I'll show you this stitched in. Um, I'll do some photographs of it, then you can see. And I uh, hope you're able to follow along and craft along with me there. So if you've liked my video... Oh, do you know what I've not done? I haven't stuck on the fairy wings. So I'm going to get some glue. Put it on there. These are Tim Holtz, the wings kit. I'm going to put them on there. There we go. That is so pretty. So that is the fairy. That's that. And that'll be like that. That'll be stitched in. Open. That'll flip open. And we'll have a pocket there too. And that will be the first page of the journal. <coughs> so I might stitch it in as well. Maybe we can stitch that in together. Okay, so I'm Sharon. You've been watching Be Divine Vintage. Etsy, Facebook, Instagram are all Be Divine Vintage. Um, so please follow me, have a look at me, like me, subscribe to me. That's if you do like me. Thank you. I've just thought too, I'm going to do some hand. I'm going to stitch that in there on the machine. I'm going to do some hand stitching down there. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.